Hi! So this video is going to be an unboxing and initial review of Dagny Dover's Small Allen Tote. So if you're interested, stay tuned for more. This box arrived and probably about seven business days from when I ordered it. But shipping is free and returns are free if the item is unused within 30 days, so. Whatever this is stuffed with, I'm going to try to keep with the dust bag so that if ever I'm not using my tote, I can use the stuffing to stuff the bag and help it keep its shape while it's in the dust bag and in my closet. That's my plan. I'm using my phone to video, so I won't be able to show you how it fits, but I'm gonna check it out right now. All right, so I just stuck my phone in. It fits perfectly, no problem. I have an iPhone 10R with um, a case to fi impact case on it, and it fit with no problem. It had a little bit of room on the side still, so that's great. Um, this is genuine pebbled leather body, exterior. It has zinc alloy, hardware in the black brushed black and the inside is going to be a polyester lining um, with I think some leather loops so let's check it out okay so the small is the only size to come with a shoulder strap That will help the bag keep its shape. Um, yeah, look at that. So the interior is that same camo print as the dust bag. clasp on the end this is supposed to be for your keys it's the key leash now this unlike the Landon carry-all bag that Dagny Dover has this is not a um, stretchy key leash this one is leather but it does say Dagny Dover there
so the opposite D-rings are for the shoulder strap. And of course, you saw me remove the Kiwis from this D-ring, so those D-rings are such great options to have around though. And there's a neoprene lap top sleeve, <laughs> I guess. It also has this black pull on it, and you can see it says Dagny Dover. It's upside down, but yay. So it has a lap top sleeve that does not detach from the purse, but. bottle holder here it detaches with a snap you heard that there's our little snap closure now this is a little collapsed as well just from travel um, but directly across from it is a pouch I can stick my whole hand in fist. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this for sunglasses at some point, but. The one on the left is longer. This one's slightly shorter. There's another zip pocket here. Ooh. Oh, and it has the information. Wow, okay, so um, just talks a bit, little bit about um, variation on product. There's the price tag. You can see Dagny Dover, Allen Tote Small, Seamist. Original price $305. I got mine on sale for, I think, $225. And I went ahead and did the Afterpay installments of um, four payments uh, every broken up over every two weeks without interest. So that's what I went ahead and did for this bag. And it ended up being like $57.25 per payment. So I thought, hey, that's not bad. It has two loops here. These can be pen loops, they can be makeup loops. They can be um, anything that you can fit in it would be great. And there you have it. So if this fits in there, you know, your iPad definitely will. So that fits super well and zips and zips. One handed is so much fun with this. All right, that is now zipped, no problem. There's the laptop, I mean, I guess it's a, a netbook or notebook notebook computer that so fits in there with still about an inch above it okay
Five foot three and a half. Small to medium build. Probably small. All right, on the shoulder, it feels really good. It has all that stuff in it, and it still doesn't really feel heavy. Straps are fine. But I wonder if they're gonna do this action because of the way the top is open. So you'd have to keep your hand here. All right, let's try it with the shoulder All strap. Right, got the shoulder strap on. Okay, hair props. Long hair props. Okay, I did not adjust the strap at all. I just attached it as is. Um, and it works okay as a strap and it's all opened I don't know if you're seeing that it's all open um, let's try it as a crossbody all right. so again I have not adjusted the strap you can see even though this is the small Allen it's not really a bag it's it's really like too big to be a crossbody um, so I didn't adjust it so you can see it hits me really high up um, but I don't know that that it's gonna be a crossbody style bag here folks so a little bit on the specs of this bag it is about ten and a half inches high by 11 and excuse me 12 inches long by four and three quarter inch wide and that is snapped um, it has 11 and one quarter handle drop uh, and it's two and a half pounds in weight so hopefully that helps you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I plan to do a follow-up um, review after I've used the bag for one, three, or six months or so. Um, I'm also going to list a discount code below. If you use this discount code, you'll get 10% off your purchase and I'll get a reward for it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.